talking specifically about Project Find My Style. I think I'm okay, but tell me if you can't hear me at any point, you just go like this. No, no, no. <laughs> um, so I'm Rosa, I'm here from Flamingo Foundation, and I'm here to talk about Find My Style. Before I tell you too much, if I could ask you to do something for me, could you um, put up your hand if you picked your own outfit this morning? <laughs> oh, no, don't worry, I'm not going to go, who crushed you then? <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's looking very lovely. And um, can you, uh, could you also put up your hand if you got yourself dressed this morning? Amazing. So the majority of people put up their hands to both of those questions. But for young people with disabilities, those options and that freedom isn't always available to them. <laughs> um, young people with disabilities, fashion, sorry, fashion is really underrepresented, disability is really underrepresented in fashion. And for, as a result of that, young people with disabilities can't always find clothes to suit their needs. It might be because they've got unusual body shapes, or it might necessarily be that actually they might have poor motor skills, which means they can't do up fastenings or buttons. Sorry, louder, <laughs> louder. So as a result, Find My Style was formed to make fashion accessible to young people with disabilities. So why find my style? Young people with disabilities can face social exclusion and are also more likely to be a victim of bullying. As they're more likely, why are they more likely to be a victim of bullying? It can be because they're seen as different by their mainstream peers. And unfortunately for these young people, they're more likely to be a victim of bullying anyway because they have a disability. The fact that they can't access high street clothing and they find, can't find clothes to suit their needs can make them even more likely to be a victim of bullying. Some of us may unfortunately remember how closely linked fashion and clothing is to bullying from our younger years. <laughs> so Find My Style was created in response to this. It's about fashion, but it's about so much more than fashion. It's about using fashion as a means to promote body confidence, promote self-esteem, and also to promote independent living skills. We deliver Find My Style workshops throughout the UK for young adults aged 16 to 19 years. We bring a trained fashion stylist and a seamstress into school and college settings to work with those young people to deliver two hour workshops where they get the opportunity to express their sense of style. During the sessions they get the opportunity to create style boards where they get to pull apart magazines, tell us what they love and what they don't love and create their own boards to express their sense of style. They also actually get the option, or the opportunity sorry, to try on clothing we turn it into a fashion shoot. We have a professional photographer there, they get to try on items and we take photos of them, they get to walk around, they get to show everybody else in the room. Um, we also talk about how you can adapt clothing to make it work for all their needs. So for example, at the moment, we're working with one school who have a lot of young people who actually have feeding tubes due to their disabilities. Um, we're looking at how we can adapt the clothing to um, have more pockets and to create more uh, loops so that you can put the feeding tubes in to make it more discreet and make it more comfortable for them to wear their clothing on a day-to-day -day basis. The, pre the um, sessions are all about empowering the young people. For a lot of these young people, they will never ever have had the opportunity to pick their own clothing. Their parents and their carers would have done it for them. So actually, giving them the opportunity to make those choices for themselves, to vocalise to the entire group, who are their peers, which is even more daunting for people, about what they would like to wear, have those, have those opinions that they've shared accepted and acknowledged, can be hugely empowering for them. It can help build confidence, and it can help promote their independent living. So we work really closely with the schools before we deliver the sessions, so what we're looking at is making sure that it fits into their learning plans and also that it meets the needs of every young person that's in that room. So for example, this was um, one school in Chippenham that we worked with this year, who actually tailored their whole school term, so one full term, the summer term, around Find My Style. So they called it Find My Style, Celebrate and Style, and they spent a whole term planning for an end of year prom, the first time they've ever been to a prom for these young people, and this was a photo of some of them on the night. Um, our journey so far, we've delivered 14 projects since launching in 2014. We've worked with schools right across the UK and we've worked with 250, 250 plus young people. We're really passionate about harnessing volunteers, particularly first-time volunteers. We work closely with schools and uh, sorry, with colleges and universities to encourage fashion students to come and take part in the sessions. That enables them to learn more about, well, to see fashion in a different light, basically, but also for us to make sure that we're helping to raise disability awareness with those individuals that are pursuing a career in fashion. So what's next for us? So we know that there's a proven need for Find My Style. 
We know that actually it's got a model which we can scale up across the UK and can become a sustainable working with more schools. We want to increase our reach over the next 12 months. We want to deliver more workshops and we want to work with more young people with disabilities. So what we're asking for tonight is whether you can help us do that. It costs just £500 to deliver each workshop. Just £500. Within those workshops we can work with up to 20 young people and actually we can make some life changing differences for them. We'd love to be delivering new workshops in the new year, so if we could find support to be able to do that, that would be amazing. Anything we can um, achieve above the cost of one workshop will go straight back into other workshops. Your funding will go straight to benefiting those young people. Uh, just to leave you with a quote from one of the teachers of the school that we worked with recently, and also just to say please do reflect back on the questions that I asked at the beginning of my presentation. Your contribution and your amazing support could make a huge difference to these young people. Thank you very much. Self-esteem and body confidence, 
We are one of the only ones that actually does anything around working with young people with disabilities. Once we launched Find My Style and we started working with the network of schools, um, the demand, we, we've got existing schools that are saying to us, please can you deliver something in the new year, which is why I'm here this evening to say, please help us deliver something in the new year. Um, but in terms of your next question, in terms of sustainability, what we are looking at is, for example, that school I talked about um, in Chippenham, school for Poplar College, um, we delivered something with them this uh, summer term, which was brilliant. What we have said to them is, we want to go back, we want to do it again, but actually we need to be sustainable. So we're looking at how we can um, part fund it with the school, yeah. so they want to invest in it as well, so they can make sure that it's part of their annual programme of learning for those young people. Does that answer your question? Yeah, thank you. Good. I think we've run out of time for questions, so thanks so much for No worries. <laughs>